This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. The land and air battles in North Africa were over. More than a quarter of a million Germans were rounded up in Tunis and Bezerta and Cape Bon, or lying dead in the hills and desert. Across a narrow strip of the central Mediterranean, the Royal Navy and Allied Air Forces seek the enemy in a new continent. The Navy has had hard going in the Mediterranean, but it's still going about its business in that so-called Italian lake. Business as usual. Stepping stones from our newly won bases in Africa to Sicily and Italy are these little islands west of glorious Malta. Pantelleria, Lampedusa, Linosa, built as fortresses, especially the largest, Pantelleria. The Duce called it his Gibraltar, but then he always was a funny fellow. General Eisenhower was aboard the flagship, the cruiser Aurora. He went with Admiral Cunningham to watch the naval bombardment of Pantelleria. The North African Air Forces had already given it nearly a month of steady bombing. The Navy had already given it three bombardments. This small fleet was now going to give that fortress outpost of Italy the most concentrated plastering any island ever had. Those are flying fortresses going on ahead to drop more tons of bombs. Rising out of the mist in the Sicilian narrows, that's Pantelleria. Fifty miles from Tunisia, eighty miles from Sicily. Needless to say, the Navy calls it Pants, and the signal is Pants. The curtain is just about to go up on another show put on by the Royal Navy. Another group of fortresses takes over. The sky rains fragmentation bombs. Down below, they're getting them in Pantelleria. entirely one-way traffic carried out without risk. There's retaliation from shore batteries. And some bombing from the Axis, though not many enemy planes can face our overwhelming weight. To screen the naval force the order is given, make smoke. Then the sea and air combined attack gets really tough. So the unofficial signal is pants at half mast. That was all from the naval bombardment, but the Navy has a journey for another job. The island of Lampedusa was next on the program.
Lampedusa, another sentry at the southern gates of Italy, the courtyard before Europe held in German bondage, and here it was the mixture as before. Trust the Navy to do a job and do it well. Though it's much too early yet for easy slappings on the back, it's only the forerunner of much greater, much more hazardous things to come. The Navy did the job according to plan, and the Italian skies are flecked with the dark shadows of retribution.